Okay, so the next two weeks, we're going to add this extra exercise in, or not really exercise, more of a stretch for your pec minor. Um, so what you want to do, put a ball in a sock, um, cricket ball, hockey ball, something hard that's, that's nice and firm. And then what you can handle, if it's too hard, you can go down to a tennis ball, but a tennis ball seems to be a little bit too soft to actually loosen those muscle fascias. So what you want to do, tight pec minor, rotate your arm outward as far as you can, and you'll probably feel just rotating your thumb back that it's already tight and you can't move backwards. So just pull your arm back and see how tight it feels here. And from the side is where the pec minor sits. It sits right under the pec major. So it's hard to get to, but it's right underneath. So if you're pushing from the side, you're basically trying to dig underneath this front muscle. So take your ball, and what's easier is if you stand by a wall. So you want to put the ball onto the wall, and stand right up against the wall, and get this ball underneath this muscle. So come in from the side, and push forward. So you can use your body weight just to push a bit forward, and you want to externally rotate your arm, move it a bit back, while pushing into the wall, and you can go up and down, and get this ball moving. From there, you can take the ball just like this, push it in there, and it may feel very sensitive, and you can just roll side to side, up and down, and just feel where that tightness is, the most tightness. Should be just where your, your arm and chest meet, just before your armpit, just there. Coming in from the side, you can feel it gets very tight. And it may be like a shocking pain, because you've got all those nerves running through there. But what you want to do is just get this loose, get this pec minor loose. Because a lot of people go to the doctors and they get pec minor surgery where they cut it but then you get scar tissue and it never helps them. So what you want to do is loosen this muscle first, get that stretch in there and the longer you can make that muscle and the softer you can make it, the better it's going to be, the less compression you're going to have. So try this over the next two weeks, add it to your shoulder blade squeezes and your chin tucks. Do it very gently and lightly at first and build your way up to harder and harder until you actually can feel that difference.